Hello everyone, it's Kavita from Red Door Yoga. Thank you for joining me online for the Red Door Yoga Mini Sutra Series. Today I wanted to talk to you about the idea that the grass isn't greener. All right, so we all know that expression, the grass isn't, or the grass is greener on the other side. Okay, that's the, that's the expression, the grass is greener on the other side. Well, I'm telling you that it isn't. It is not greener on the other side. And what I'm talking about uh, is as we're all going through this period with a pandemic, okay, with COVID-19, what I'm talking about is the idea that, you know, the tendency to look around and look at varying people who are having slightly different experiences from you and to think that it's easier for them. Okay, it's easier for them, the grass is greener, they're not under the stresses that you are, etc. So for example, if you've lost your job, and uh, you look around, and you're like, that person's still working, the tendency is to not just say that person's still working, the tendency is to go, they're perfectly fine. They're perfectly fine. They're not under the stress that I'm under. Uh, they don't have the problems that I have, etc. Now, here's the thing, they may not have the exact problems that you all have, and maybe they do. Okay, or maybe they have different ones. The truth is that we're all, the, the reason that we're, we're in social isolation is because we're all so connected, okay, that uh, it's like the, the idea of the butterfly wings. A butterfly flaps its wings uh, on one side of the, the earth and then you have a, a tsunami on another side. That's the expression, right, in terms of what's referred to as the butterfly effect, right? We are so connected that what happens to one person cascades through the world. So here's the thing, um, let's say you've lost your job and so what's going on for you is you're like, I'm having to think about my mortgage, I'm having to think about my rent, I'm having to think about food and whatnot um, and I am struggling with those things but this person has a job and they have money and whatnot. Well here's the thing, there's the person with money as in they are still working and chances are they're going to work and they are under more stress at work than they've ever been in like especially if they're at work they might be in a, a what would it, what's considered to be an essential service they have to interact with people they may really wish that they could be at a home where they don't have to interact with people because they are are stressed over this on a daily basis they're worried about their health they're worried about when they come home interacting with their family at home and then possibly making their children ill or you know a spouse who has asthma ill or anything like that um, they are still worried about things they're still under stresses and they are actually probably looking at you and going I really wish I could be home like this person I would rather take EI or I'd rather take this or I'd rather do that or I'd rather have a period where so I could feel safer than I do what I'm trying to say to you is that we all have our own set of issues that we're dealing with the tendency to look at someone and go, their grass is greener, is to focus on what you feel that you are lacking and to focus on what you want and to recognize that they have what you think you want. And that's why you think the grass is greener. You're completely ignoring all the things that they wish that they had, that they are looking at you and thinking, I would like that. Okay, You're not realizing that the human tendency is to want that which we don't have. And it's taking place for you, yes, but it's also taking place for them. But they are also suffering from that desire and that attachment and that aversion, that the grass isn't greener, that we're all human having this experience and we are all struggling with our attachments and our aversions and our egoic pushes and pulls. That does not mean that we all have to suffer to that extent, we are still in control of mitigating our suffering, but the instinct that we have, that egoic instinct that we have pushes us all to suffer. And that you cannot know the details of another person's life, the issues that cause them stress. And so instead of turning others into a cardboard cutout, in terms of turning them into this two-dimensional idea that has it so good compared to you, Look towards compassion. Look towards an awareness of how much you don't know. Okay? Also, look towards gratitude. Gratitude for things that you have that others do not. If you don't have a job in your home, even though you're worried about your rent, you're worried about food, you're worried about those things, and those are significant issues, 
There are things to be grateful for that you have. The isolation that you're able to give yourself at this point. Okay? Uh, as an example, the ability to maybe go sit outside on your front stoop or your balcony or whatever it is and just take a breath of fresh air. The fact that the environment appears to be clearing up a whole lot more than it's been in a lot of places. These are things to be grateful for. I'm not saying that they make your stressors go away. What I'm saying is they put things into a better perspective and they cause you to experience uh, a, a, a settling within yourself. To look at others and to envy them, that's the grass is greener idea. To look at others and to envy them and to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To um, resent them, that causes nothing but your own suffering and eventually the suffering of others because there is the butterfly effect. Whatever happens within you cascades into the world. Okay? I hope this was helpful, everyone. And I very much look forward to continuing to see you online to discuss these important uh, things, not just for general self-mastery, but specific to what we're all going through right now. If you have any thoughts, any questions, any comments, please do put them in the comment section. Share this with others. I think we all can benefit from these, these lessons. Um, and uh, I look forward to having you guys with me again online very soon. Namaste.